Hi everyone, welcome back and in this video I wanted to give you some information on whether you, if you are a student and you want to pursue your higher studies and you want to do a second masters and you feel that maybe can I do a second masters, will universities be accepting my application for a second masters especially if the first and the second masters are in the same field, stuff like that. If at all you have questions like this then this is the video for you. So. If at all you completed a master's, let's say in the field of computer science and you still want to do a ma second master's abroad and you feel that universities are going to question you well, why are you doing the second master's or if certain people have told you it's not possible then don't panic because that's not the case. You can be doing any number of masters that you want to provided that you have um, valid reasons and genuine reasons for pursuing that master's. So for instance, let's say that you have completed um, computer science, okay, and you want to do a second master's. So you need to prove that you, your application is genuine and you can prove it for various reasons. For example, there you completed your first master's like a couple of years back and during those years, there was no um, much of information on the booming technologies like what we have now. For example, business analytics, data analytics, AI, IoT, and stuff like that. It was all in the conceptual stages. But now there is so much more to learn about that it becomes even a master degree or a specialization. So you would want to know more about it. You would want to learn more about those particular booming technologies and upgrade your knowledge and stuff like that, which is why you want to do a second master's, which is fine. Okay. So another reason why people would want to do a second master's, another reason could be because let's say they have switched jobs, okay? If you are fully a full-time developer or you're a full-time, or you are in a particular field, let's say for example, you're a business analyst, but you want to get into the technical aspects of things, you want to get some technical understanding, you want to transition into a developer and that's where you need some more technical expertise then you might want to become do a master's or you just want to shift domain or let's say you're totally shifting domains like from i don't know for a, from a sales side to a bit from and to analytics then you might want to take up a business analytics course so there are different reasons why you would want to do a second master's as long as it's genuine so now there's another check that might come up is Okay, so you've done a first master's, then why why do you go for a second master's? Probably you can take up some research paperwork work course. So that's a question that maybe universities would probably ask you. So there's an answer to that also. So if at all you have that question coming up to you, then there can be one reason for which you would want to, maybe there could be a couple of reasons, but there's one thing that I can tell you, which is you need to see why you want to do a master's and why would one want to do a research okay so mostly professionals working in companies they would sometimes they want to get a promotion so a masters would just be fair enough for them if you really want to go into you know um for example you want to understand um what the details are you want to go into the research side of things and stuff like that you want to go in like to be a scientist role things like that then research would make much more sense for you but if you feel that the master's course curriculum has the right structure that you're looking for exactly what you want to learn and you feel that that's going to satisfy your um, needs then go in for a master's okay so if you want to continue working as a professional you don't want to go into the research side of things you don't want to become a professor things like that don't go for research papers that's one reason that you can give the university and justify that why do you want to take up a second master's so in my experience yes you can do a second master's don't be hesitant don't be timid don't panic if someone says no you cannot do it just go for it as long as as i said your reasons as to why you want to do a second master's or anything else is valid so i hope that this was a little helpful for you you got some information on that if you like this video please do give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks. Thank you.